when the world is in danger, when Hellgate trying to destroy the world. You as heroes are working together to fight the battle against demons. This is Planet Apocalypse. What is it about? In this video, we're showing you a quick how to play for Planet Apocalypse so you can get a feel for the game. Coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Liverpool University, where you can find a lot of how to play, live playthrough videos, and more. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Now let's get to the table. Planet Apocalypse is a cooperative game in which a team of heroes fights to save the world from an invasion from hell. It was designed by Sandy Peterson and published by Peterson Games. The game plays 1 to 5 players in 60 to 90 minutes and is of medium complexity. In Planet Apocalypse, the end is nigh. The Hellgate is open and the demons are coming. Players will cooperatively play the role of heroes who need to defeat ever increasing waves of demons in order to build up their own power and ready themselves to face the Lord in the final battle. If the players can defeat the Lord, before the Lord casts his shadow over the entire land, then the players will win the game. The progression of the game is in many ways straightforward. Players begin the game as basic heroes, with limited abilities and a weak attack. As they kill demons, they gain courage, which is the main currency in the game. Courage can be spent to upgrade the heroes with gifts, giving them more health, better or more attack dice, more toughness, or special abilities, all making them stronger in battle. Courage can also be spent to recruit troopers, who can be set up on the board in permanent ambushes, which serves as a tower defense style of mechanic, which can pick off some enemies as they march through. A round of Planet Apocalypse takes place over three phases, the team phase, hero phase, and enemy phase. The team phase is for those upgrading actions, as well as healing. In the hero phase, each hero may move, set an ambush, and attack all demons in their area. Attacking is done with a die roll. A hero will have a certain amount of dice in their attack pool, and may be able to gain more with certain abilities. Teammates in the same area may also spend one courage to upgrade a die to the next size. The player's full attack dice pool is rolled, and then each enemy who can be assigned a single die exceeding its toughness, or two dice exceeding both of its toughnesses, is hit, and in the case of basic demons, killed. For each demon killed in this manner, the players will earn one courage. Each round finishes with the enemy phase. The Despair and Lord Tracks advance and these trigger advancements in the game each time they finish a cycle. Enemies will then attack heroes in their current area, advance forward to the next area, and will then be attacked by your ambushes. As your heroes get stronger, so too do the enemies. Waves of basic demons get larger, and on each revolution of the Lord track, a fourth circle demon with four health and special game-breaking abilities is spawned. When a demon breaks through your defenses and leaves the start area, or if a hero is killed in battle, then the team gains doom. If you ever gain 13 doom, you lose the game. The aim of the game is ultimately to defeat the Lord, a powerful boss with a lot of health and special dangerous abilities. Like a classic video game, when players fight the boss, they are transported to a special location, in this case Hell, to face the Lord and a crew of minions. Time slows down in Hell, and the heroes and enemies simply fight with no other allowable actions until either the heroes retreat or the Lord is vanquished. Planet Apocalypse is as large as you want to make it. In the base game, you get two basic maps, six unique heroes, two fourth circle demons, and one lord. Each of the four main expansion packs 
brings you two additional maps to make a full campaign of 10, two new heroes, three new fourth circle demons, two new lords, and new gift, legion, and trooper cards to give a wide variety of play. A further seven lords and ladies are available as additional add-on packs. All come with huge, beautifully crafted miniatures to give Planet Apocalypse a strong table presence. The game is simple yet strategic to learn, and still has an engine building mechanic while greatly simplifying the battle grid mechanic that you would see in many combat games. The game can be role played and it can be played solo. And that's quick how to play for Planet Apocalypse. We hope that you enjoyed the video and we hope that it helps you. We do have other videos for Planet Apocalypse, including Stellar's Short and Sweet, and a how to play video on the Dice Tower, which you can check out from the link in the description below. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to us. You can do that by hitting the meeple in the corner and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll know when we have new and exciting videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board games journey. And finally, if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please write them in the comment section below. Until next time!